Hi everybody, it's Lena, Spirit Talker from the Red Road Homestead. It's a chilly morning here in Tennessee and I got my little oil lamp going in here and I do get the propane as you see going this morning. It's a little chilly. Yesterday we got the uh, Hang on just a second. Let me see if I can learn how to turn this around. Oh, that wasn't it. Okay. Somehow I'm supposed to be able to turn this video around. But anyways, we got the um, water containment for the rain, the big one, over by the chicken coop done. And it's supposed to rain today, and I guess for the next few days. So, anyways, we're um, we got that fixed, so it'll be catching some of that rainwater. I hope, as we don't have water here yet. And I wanted to make a short video this morning while I have my coffee, as you see. And I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of my viewers that actually sent me some donations that really, really helped. I want to thank you so much. I don't know if you want your names announced or not, so I won't say your names, but that really came in really handy. And I was able to get a plug I needed and some poles to extend the chicken and the turkey coop out we got the turkey coop finished the turkey spent his first night out there tonight which came in right in time because the chickens the hens that i have decided i guess that he wasn't very welcome in their chicken coop they got his neck pretty bad so packing him so now he's in a safe place they don't bother him when they're out in the yard I think it was just they didn't want to be cooped up with him in their place that they love. So now the turkey has his own place and the chicken has theirs and they can share the yard. And that turned out pretty good. So it's not the best looking turkey coop, but it's efficient. So I'm glad for that. Fast River's been helping with the building and the neighbors have helped and chimed in where they can so we're doing pretty good out here still got a lot that I need to accomplish before winter got to get things done yesterday we went out by the road because i seen a couple pieces of trash and i wanted to throw them away so we went out there and i finally had to call fast river to come help me evidently sometime or another i don't know if it was before i got here on the property or what but somebody must have had a big beer drinking par par i can't talk party so we cleaned up all the beer bottles there was a bent up frying pan and some pop bottles things like that so we cleared that all up we still got a lot of trash to clear up from back at the back of the property i guess um the guy that sells the land around here he came in with a bulldozer and just kind of pushed it all to the back so i need to go through that and be careful i don't run into any snakes and get that all down to the dump i'll just have to load my truck up one day and go down there and get rid of whatever's all down there and then sometime this week, the um, goat shed should be here. So still waiting on that. We've got a lot of fence rolled up that Little Wolf was able to save from somewhere that he brought down. It's kind of rusty looking, but it's still good and still usable. And some posts and wood and stuff. That little wolf had also found, and he tore some wood crates down. So, we're using what we can use that we have on hand. So, 
anyway, still trying to get a lot done. Got chicken food the other day, and so we're pretty much set here. Lord knows we have enough eggs we can eat for breakfast. So we're making it. This old lady and her <laughs> and her handicapped daughter and my grandson that has special needs, but we're making it. We're making it happen. So I hope everybody has a good day. Hopefully it's warm where you are. And I just wanted to get on here and send a thank you message to a couple people that's really helping out. You don't know how much and how appreciative I am for what you sent. Thank you so much, and y'all have a good day. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also, um, give a shout out there to Little Wolf's Homestead and uh, Anne's Tiny Life, Cabin in the Woods, Lipstick Hick. Hope you're all having a good day. Joe Boiler, I hope you're having a good day. And Lori, bye now.